Hey there once again folks welcome to another train simulator classic video today we're going to be taking a look at the recently and very recently released Western Maryland H9 class by Machine Rail the uh, the guys that have been released in quite a few nice American and otherwise steam locomotives uh, as of late and uh, we got one for the Eastern Road, uh, better yet, for the Hanover Subdivision, which is what we're currently on, and you can also use these uh, on the B&O Mountain Subdivision, and I would also recommend, if you don't have it already, and are looking for a reason to get a high iron simulations pack, to get a Western Maryland uh, retro pack, because that's what I'm using here as far as rolling stock. So anyway, that out of the way, this is going to cost you $14. 14 US dollars and some change, applicable taxes, yada yada, all that good stuff. Uh, you can get it directly at their website. I will link it down below as always. And uh, first things first, I want to get this out of the way. I'm a bit confused. So I've been keeping uh, abreast of the situation with this thing. And they were releasing photos and all kinds of stuff, little bits and bobs, blogs, all that good stuff about the as delivered uh, H9s, which I'm not seeing in this pack. The only thing I'm seeing in this pack are the fireballs, which, you know, let's be clear, I'm not mad about it. These things, from what I've seen so far, are every bit worth of $14. But uh, I thought the ass delivers were going to be in here. They are not. So I'm not entirely sure what's going on with that. Anyway, I'm only going to blab a little bit more. So these, of course, were for the Western Maryland Railway. Uh, the railway, also known as the Wild Mary or Fast Freight Line, they were known for using modern steam power, uh, such as the H9, of which we see here, to move coal out of West Virginia and Maryland uh, in the mountainous regions in both states. So that's primarily what they use these things for. Uh, they bought these, of course, from Baldwin Locomotive Works in about 1921, and of course uh, was the extremely, extremely venerable and standard 280 uh, consolidation class essentially is what these are so they're 280 Connie's uh, but anyway they've been making Connie's since the late 1800s um, and just all around one of the most popular steam engines for freight hauling in the era in uh, in the United States and of course reaching its peak uh, with the H9 the uh, the modified H9 which we see here before us for the Western Maryland Railroad now the H9s were built primarily for tractive effort and power, heavy coal trains, mountain regions, you need power. Uh, they weighed about 150 tons of pop, and they put down about 71,500 pounds of tractive effort. Now, they eventually acquired about 50 of these things and were used up until about the 1950, somewhere 1953 or 1954, so they used them quite a while but uh, anyway that's what they are we're going to take a look at these and then run them of course and listen to them and and feel them out and all that good stuff but uh, they look incredible right out of the gate they look incredible they do it's nice to see some nice American iron you know that's updated something that doesn't look like it's, uh, it's 20 years old there's only one other developer maybe two payware we'll say one other payware developer that makes stuff of this caliber, and that, of course, is uh, Smokebox. Now, that stuff is a little bit more in depth, I will say, but uh, this is this is uh, best of the rest right here. This is some pretty good stuff, and they they've been making some very fine uh, steam locomotives as of late for the uh, northern American continent. But it looks nice. You can already see the rivets, the uh, the striping, and the coloring. The numbers look legit. Got the safety first on here. Uh, it's just an all-around good model. They obviously have no issue with their modeling. That is clear. Even the uh, the steel back here, you can see the little indentions and whatnot and stressing in the steel, the little pock marks and all that, which looks fantastic. Of course, you got these bolts, you know, rivet counter, all that good stuff. Those look great. Bolts and nuts and nuts and bolts. The air hoses look good. Coupler looks okay. It could use a little bit of roughing up. I mean, it's not searchlight simulations quality uh, coupler wise, but they still look pretty good. They've got a little bit of a uh, weathering to them, but overall they look kind of flat. But uh, that's just the coupler. 
hop around to the rest of the tender here. Western Mar Maryland uh, lettering looks really nice, really clean, very sharp. We'll get right up on it here. That's pretty spicy. That's a spicy Italian sausage meatball. And, of course, the uh, the Fireball logo, which is cool as hell. That looks incredible as well. Uh, they spent some time making that. This is like... That's just a hot logo. I mean, look at this. I don't know how well it's going to translate into a YouTube video. But that looks amazing. Absolutely amazing. The color looks good on it. Ugh. Everything. Gorgeous. Get down low here. Axle boxes. Got chains hanging down. Steel down here. It's got the little pock marks and stressing in it as well. It's just it's just pretty. Man, even the brake shoes. I mean, look at the brake shoes. They're not uh they're not just flat and smooth. It's uh that's nice. It's very nice. And the chains. Good looking chains. Strong chain game. <laughs> Machine Rail got that strong chain game. Those do uh, those do look pretty good for you know as far as chains. They're not 2D or they don't really look it. Of course, the top kind of offset headlamp, which looks very good as well. And even look inside of this thing and just how like crusty it is. It looks great, and the number boards as well. Damn good looking model. Model A plus easy. There's our water tank right there. Let's take a look at these hinges. That's what I'm talking about right here. A couple of uh, North American devs, you know, that make payware could take a page out of their book. I mean, let's be honest here. That is very nice. And then, of course, the coal. Black diamonds. Good looking texture. Um, it's not super clean like the piling of the coal back here you can tell where it was kind of duplicated there but it uh it looks pretty good and then there's even some some soot and whatnot some smearing right in there which looks nice but it's uh, it's not um what's the word i'm thinking of or it's like a exact reflection as you can see from this angle so it's you know it's not uh, it's not it's asymmetrical i think that's what i'm looking for it looks good though of course, the uh, the top of the loco itself, the cab. Got the fin here. And the bolts up here. And the top of this thing looks really good as well. It's weathered very nicely, not overly done. Uh, it just looks really good. There's not a whole lot else to say about it, honestly. It just looks pretty damn good. <laughs> this uh, grab iron up here looks nice. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, this is, uh, I'm, I'm a bit at a loss for words because it's the first time I'm looking at a lot of this stuff, honestly, so I'm kind of just trying to soak it all in. Got all the uh, steam bleeds going on. There's one in the back, too, underneath the cab. And our whistles over there. Got the diz home. Bell string or pole, the smokestack, the chuff chuff chuffa. Let's get down in now. Yeah, it looks good. It looks really good. Now, what's, uh, what's interesting about this locomotive is this was a consignment for someone. So someone came to them privately with the idea, I guess, and money to make one of these. So if you have deep enough pockets and a handy checkbook and you want your, uh, your favorite steam locomotive done, maybe hit them up. Because um, this thing looks incredible. It's got the safety first on the front as well. More modern pilot or cow catcher on there. And of course have the steps, which is like a, a notable thing for these, these front steps here. Look at the rod too, a little bit of earl and grease on there. That is looking mighty, mighty fine. 
of course the wheels and the rods that looks damn good we're gonna see all that in motion slow and fast speeds as well but uh, exterior wise there's really not much else to say this thing looks amazeballs got their little stamp on there numbers look great we've got like that kind of bump mapping look to it the side there with the numbers you can kind of see a little better there you can see the uh, the firebox through there that's kind of a cool feature as well this thing just looks amazing damn 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 all right and uh, one other thing they included a manual now it's not always immediately uh, noticeable that there's a manual because I hardly ever look in the files for manuals I usually look you know in the download or on Steam etc but it's within your uh, Railworks folder so they've got a nice uh, printed up manual here looks pretty good nice and old-timey now see what's funny about this is um, so it's got the numbers it's got all that good stuff uh, technical specifications believe it blee it's got your keys interactive controls within the cab and the liveries now this is what I'm confused about this pack I don't know if I got some kind of funky download or file I've only got this one down here the modified I don't have the OG up here I thought this one up here was coming with it I you know if there's a way to set these up I don't know how you do it um, I look through here I don't really see anything in here uh, because their stuff, like it says right here, starts with MR, and that's that's the only thing I saw is the modified. So I don't know if they're done with it yet. I don't know if they forgot it. Uh, I don't know if they're going to sell it separately. I'm not sure what's going on there, but it's got a manual. It's within your uh, your your Railworks folders, so you're going to want to go and pop that and uh, take a look if if you would so like. But uh, anyway, all right, let's go hop in one and head down the tracks. All right, so we got one here just chilling on the main line. Uh, of course, you wouldn't stop on the main line. We'll say there was a llama on the loose on the middle of the railroad track, and so they had to stop. But anyway, got a mixed freight. Again, like I said, you can use whatever stock you want, as always. But the Western Maryland Retro Pack goes fairly good with this that's the era they use these things up until the 50s there were diesels around hell there were diesels around since the 30s I'm not entirely sure about Wild Mary but they kind of coexisted these things in uh, early diesels but uh, I did not look at these stamps right here try and take a closer look here these uh, builder plates Nicholson thermic siphons Patented and patents pending locomotive firebox company. And then the uh, Baldwin Loco Works, Philadelphia, 1921. And then look at the foot plate up here. Good lord. That looks great. That looks damn great. Okay, we can't marvel at the exterior of this thing all day. I'm going to kill so much time, so let's go ahead and hop in here. Okay, well, uh, there's a lot going on. Wow. Okay, I think there's gauge lights. Let me look at the uh, bibbity bop here. Uh, let me turn on the frame counter as well. I'll go ahead and do that. So I'm stuck right at 60, which is where I have a cap. Gauge lights are Y. Like a nice little click noise there as well. And then the cab lights are, I'm a pirate, are, uh, are you. Kind of weird, but okay. Now that does kill some frames. I went from 60 to 35, depending on where you look, of course. So this is the, uh, the box up here for the lighting. I believe if you hit over on the arrow key, there we go, just like some of their other locos. You've got all your switches, cab lights, gauge lights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. It's got a nice sound as well. Let me go ahead and get rid of those because they are taxing on frames. These gauges look 
pretty damn good. Look at that. The streaking in the metal there. The, uh, the circly doodads. No clue what the name is for that, but they look great. The needles look great. It's just uh, some good-looking textures. I mean, the models are incredible, but uh, this thing, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Nice and dirty in here. There's just coal and footprints and just crap everywhere. It's got the green interior. Let's see if we can get this vent open up here. Got a nice sound as well. we'll check that out from the tippy. Of course, you can see the uh, the top there with all the stuff, all the pipes. Very nice. Now, I use Auto Fireman because I am a steam pleb, and I will always remain a steam pleb. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna see how we get on. Let me see what we can uh, mess with here. There's the blower. Uh, Stoker General Valve, or uh, Fireman, Stoker, call it whatever you want, Injector, Bell, nice animation as well, Injector, Cylinder Oil Lubricator, and then Whistle, and we'll hear that beautiful thing in just a moment. So, Windows. You can open one or both, and you keep pulling, and it adds a little uh, side window there and the armrest, which is pretty cool. I don't know if these are operable, the fronts. Let me double check the manual real quick. P and shift P. There we go. Sick. All right, so shift P closes them, or not. Even the animation, the sliding animation up here looks great. Let's hop over here and see if we can do this one too. Oh, it's already open. Nice. Uh, let's see. Side cab is J and shift J. There we go. All in one motion. Very nice. What else do we have here? Uh, deep up. Boop. Ba -doop. Beep. Boop. Boop. Uh, rear cab. E and shift E. Nice. And then shift ease this one over here. Hell yeah, we're going to open all that. And then the uh, the top hatch is V. There we go. And it's got a nice sound that, uh, that goes with it as well. All right. Let's check out that headlight. They're pretty good with headlight flares. Yep, that looks pretty darn good. The markers up here as well. The uh, the lenses are incredible. Those look great. Very old timey. And that's a good looking flare. It uh it doesn't protrude from the front of the locomotive. It kind of disappears, but it is recessed. Uh, to be fair, thing had a unique headlight. Let's see what else is there. I don't know if you can change the marker lights. Um, on some of the other locos, you could. I can't remember the key though. Anyway, we're gonna get go ahead and check out the bell. Bell looks incredible. Animation as well. And the whistle. That sounds thick, son. I love that just deep, mean steam whistle sound like that. It's pretty quick on the play, you know, with the space bar, whatever you use. So it doesn't hang or lag. I'm not hearing a loop. Uh, but I do kind of hear the, the sound, the audio file that they use. You can hear like some popping in there. It's very faint, but it's noticeable. And uh, 
I don't think it quills. There's nothing in the manual about it. And I've tried just about every key I can think of. Anyway, let's get this some bitch moving. Firebox will it let us? Since I have it on auto fireman, we'll see it when the uh, when the auto dude does his thing. Oh, there we go. Nice, looks very nice. All right, good deal. Let's go, shall we? All right, we'll put it all the way up. Go ahead and drop the brakes. Ooh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. All right, open the cylinder cocks. Start giving her a little J-bar. Oh, even the animation with that whistle, dude. Unique how it's at an angle like that. All right, we'll kill the cylinder cock. They have a nice gradual cut to them. Of course, watch the uh, the gearing and piston animation here. The rods. You can hear some clanking. Some faint shuffage. I'm going to make her work, though. I'm going to make her work for this. So I'm going to drop the reverser back. It's uh, about 50. I'll give her some more juice. A little bit more. Little bit more. And here the uh, audio files start to transition there. That sounds good, man. It's got an echo too and God almighty if that echo don't sound good. Especially if you're down in some hollers or some mountains or valleys or something. All right, what do we got here? 40% will drop the reverser down to 35. And look at the smoke. Using more than black diamonds, it starts to turn black. Now, that is neat. I'll give them that because I don't entirely recall that happening with their other steam engines, if I'm honest. I may have just totally missed it, which is a massive possibility. Um, but the black, I'll just give it a little bit more here. We'll take a deeper look at it. There we go. The, the black is almost like, uh, like, I feel like this color that it's on right now looks more natural under heavy load. But that, the black that it was on earlier was just like, uh, just too dark. Like devoid of any color. It's just, it doesn't really fit. It doesn't, it's just not as realistic as, uh, you know, I guess what we see here currently. But it'll get like a very deep black. There you go, just uh, lightened up a bit. All right, so we got a pretty decent speed. Now, what I, what I want to do, one of the things I did with some of their other steam engines is I want to see what this thing sounds like interior-wise, uh, you know, from from stop, start, and all that good stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and let off the reverser, and we'll see how the brakes are with this thing. Now, this isn't a terribly heavy train.
and it's taking some time to slow down very nice and the sound I'm noticing some new sounds in this thing the run sounds hear that rumble I don't know if you can hear that and make it out in the video there's definitely some some rumble there kind of the you know akin to like a jet flying overhead you know after it's passed for a couple of seconds all right, so I'm gonna sh I'm gonna do my best to shut up anyway, and we're just gonna go from a dead stop and uh, see what she sounds like. Try and get a good view here first. All right, so that's all the way forward. All right, let's go. Shut it, time. Take it to Shutty Town, Sean. Here we go. <laughs> Hell with the speed limit. It's for science. Scientific. Okay. Thanks, Xbox controller. You're the best. Thank you. Trying to let steam build back up a little bit. I totally just murdered it. All right. Well, it sounds pretty good. The uh, the whistle inside sounds nice. The bell is kind of inaudible, which, you know, from what I recall being in and kind of around steam engines, you know, 
when there's any kind of noise speed going on, you don't really hear them. Uh, the transition between low speed and high speed is a bit abrupt, but it's not a bad sound. We'll stick our head out. We'll do the Labrador view. Now, I think, yeah, all the gauges just kind of die when you stick your head out the window here. I mean, look at this. This is incredible. Just look at that view, man. Look at what you're in. This thing is perfect for the hand of herself. I mean, mind you, we're way the hell out by uh, Gettysburg. I was fighting. I found the word, Gettysburg. <laughs> it looks incredible out here. Look at the mountains up there. This thing just fits so perfect right here. Of course, you can use this thing wherever the hell you want. Whatever floats your boat, tickles your pickle, tingles your Pringle. But the, uh, the B&O Mountain Sub, too, totally legit. You can kind of do like a... Uh, Pretenzi Frostberg deal, you know, out of Cumberland. Alright, I think we're going downhill. Let's get it. Let's try and get it. Now, these things weren't built for extreme speed, from what I gather. Uh, you know, pulling power, tractive effort, heavy ass coal trains, mountains. So, with that being said, We'll leave this one here. Good day to you, sir. And we will go get in a heavy-ass coal train. See you in a second. Alrighty, so we are roughly about halfway headed west uh, and then south into Maryland, Hagerstown. We're just outside of Highfield, which is uh, up the road a bit. So. They did run these things uh, OG multiple unit style. So I got two on the head end here, and then I got one on the ass end. And we'll see if they jive uh, with one another. So we got a fairly heavy coal train. You got to keep in mind, you know, they, they weren't mega super dupe chungus boys like, uh, you know, trains nowadays. But they, they still got stuff done. They did work. Uh, so, of course, we got one on the back here. Of course, compliments with a caboose as well from the uh, Western Maryland retro pack it's uh it's got a purpose now this western maryland retro pack so there you go and and i think there's a steam summer sale going on right now so go get it son um anyway <laughs> let's see what this thing can do so you can see up the hill right here i'll get down on ground level that's about a one and a half percent upgrade headed towards high field and uh i don't know why but i made it snowy in winter we'll see if any kind of adhesion or any kind of crap like that have anything to do with it and uh, let's get on it. Let's get on it. All right, we'll uh, we'll we'll link up with the first one here, and we'll see how they act in tandem as well. So, all right, so full reverser, and of course you would probably use handbrakes in a situation like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and give her a little bit of juice, and then let off the brakes. So we got like 230,000 pounds for extractive effort right now, essentially. Oh, mama. We had some slippage. Where was that? Who daddy is? Now, they will slip because I did it earlier. You can see them slipping. But there's a lot of different wheels working right now. So go ahead and put the sand on. Definitely see them slipping. Alright, we're going to let off a bit. Because that's pretty much what you would do with wheel slippage in a steamer. So I'm hearing a lot of flange squeal. And it sounds pretty good, but I'm not hearing much else. 
I don't know if the sounds were competing because, you know, TS moment, it does that. So we'll give her some more juice here. That's 20%. 25. Come on, baby. There we go. One mile an hour. We're headed up. Up, up, and away. Let's see if she'll do 30%. Not mile an hour. <laughs> 30 mile an hour. Got jokes. No, nah, I mean, you could do 30, just not right now, obviously. All right, she's getting there. That's one and a half. You can see right there on the HUD. It's about the brunt of what you're going to hit on the Hanover sub, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe 1.7. All right, 35% on the throttle. Or the ridge. Oh, I love that wheel slip sound, man. That is a cool ass sound, especially uh, in real life. All right, 36. See if we can do 40%. Woo, she don't like that. All right, we're going to drop it back down again. 35. All right, we got this. We got this. All right, I'm going to have to use the forbidden F4 HUD. I don't know why, but I hate this thing. So I'm going to try like 37, 38. Nope, don't like it. She don't like. All right, looks like 35s are a magic number right now. That's your power, Powerball number for tonight. 35, go play it. All right, 11 mile an hour. Now the grade's leveling out a bit, but the ass end of the train is still hanging. Like a fat dude on a diving board at your uh, local public pool. All right, give her a little bit more juice. There's 38%. There's that, there's that sound transition. That's the only thing I'm not crazy about with these. Uh, it's just really abrupt. Like, I'm starting to wonder if there's just like two sound files, you know, the, the slow and the, the fast. There needs to be like a mid, or maybe even like two mid speeds. You know, if I had it my way. Just saying. All right, we'll drop the reverser down. We got some motion in the ocean. We'll drop it down to like 50. There's 40% on the rig. Listen, that flame squeal. 43%. Speeding. Eh, no crap. 45. 50. Whoa, look at the wheels, dude. Holy crap. That was weird. All right, let's try that again. Come on, sweet pea. Little bit more juice. A little bit more. Whoa! Yeah, it goes crazy right there.
drop the regulator down. And the reverser. Put the reverser about 35, 34 works. Alright, let's see if she'll take more than 40% throttle. Or 50. It's 43. It's 46. Let's see how the rear's doing. Yeah, that's, uh, we'll just go up here and have a nice, sweet little drive-by. So it, uh, it works. You can, you can couple these bad mamma jammers up and, uh, they do their thing. Which is, uh, very nice. But, uh, closing thoughts. This thing is every bit worth 14 bucks. I thought there were going to be two liveries or variants. Uh... As far as I can tell right now, there's just the one, this one. You know, but if one is going to be advertised, it should have come with it because that was a bit confusing. So that's, you know, that's kind of my issue with the pack. Um, but yeah, it's it's about dang time. We got some nice steamers in TS. Don't get me wrong, but, you know, something for Eastern Roads, you know, that's, uh, that's modern for the game. For the, for the year of our Lord 2022. Um, you know, and all that good stuff. But again, Machine Rail. Western Maryland H9. Modified. And there they go. That's cool as hell. I'm going to be using the shibbity bibbity out of these. I don't know what I just said. But uh, that's it, guys. I t Two big thumbs up and two big toes up from me. I like this thing gonna use it that's it though uh link below as usual thanks for watching guys i'll catch you next time take care bye bye